beautiful friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if this is your first time here, my name is Melissa, or Missa, whatever you want, just make it kind of nice. My family call me Smell, so there's that. Welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, I am going to be playing with my new Morphe 35C Everyday Chic palette. Look, it's written on the front. That's weird. Uh, this is what the palette looks like. Let me show you. I've had mine for quite a few days, it's also travelled to and from Ireland with me so it's a little bit smooshed up but it's in perfect working order. I was not going to get this palette and then my friend Kelly was like oh I really like it and she'll be swatches of it and then I was like oh I need to buy it now so I bought it got a wee bit of a discount on it and um, I'll try and find one leave it in the description like the discount if you are interested in getting it um, and if you haven't been here before I'm going to swatch this whole palette on my arm show you what it looks like do this look on my eyes and then give you my thoughts at the end. I am a Morphe fan, in fact I just bought the huge Jaclyn Hill brush set because it was less than £100 um, on Klarna. <laughs> I ain't rich. But yeah, if you want to see me play with this palette, swatch it all as well because to be honest the swatches are quite impressive, or at least they were when I swatched them the other day, then just keep on watching. As always, I'm going to go row by row, I'm not going to have anything on my arm, I'll swatch it once so you can see how it comes up once and then I'll build it up just a wee bit just to kind of get it looking, you know, like Instagrammy swatches but we'll see it just like once and what happens and yeah, we'll go from there, let's jump in. to start off by priming with my MAC paint pot because let's be honest I love it so much I've got very textured skin at the moment probably from being on a plane so ignore it and I'm using this very deep kind of blackened purple I'm gonna throw this on my outer corner and like my outer half 
outer V. Ugh, I hate that. Um, really nice colour. Um, I wouldn't really say patchy very much. And then I just take a teensy bit more of that same shade but on a bigger fluffy brush just to smoosh it around a little and get it to start blending for my next shade which is this much more like warm toned ready purple i actually really like this for blending out this dark color and i wish i'd kind of stuck to the warm tones but you'll see my next color i really wanted to use it so um but this is a really nice color really good for blending but i wanted to use this like blue purple shade because i thought it was so unique so we're soldiering along with that and I don't know, I think it was just a bad decision to use this colour but I think in the end it does all work out, to be honest. I think so. You know what I say, everything will be okay. And then I'm using this gorgeous light pink because it's me. This is going to go all the way around the edges, smoke it out a bit more. You know the deal. Um, this under the brow highlight that we're going to do, it's the lightest shade in the palette and I'm going to put that on my inner corner later on as well if you wonder like when it gets to that point what I'm doing. Um, it's gorgeous, look at it, oh my goodness. And then I'm going to go through all of the exact same shades again but this is just where I spent a lot more time on it and just really packed them on, really blended, packed the next one on, really blended. Um, I always like to just kind of put the bare bones of my look on first and then I go in and work a bit harder at making sure it looks good. So I don't think it's been looking good up until this point, but I do think, like I said, that the end of it comes together. But I can't wait to play with this palette more and do like more looks with it and like a really grungy dark look. I love that light pink so much. <laughs> what else would I use but my ABH eye primer? Let's be real. Um, I'm going to use this gorgeous light pink. This is not the right brush, so it's not applying it very well, but I just wanted something really um, tiny and specific so that I could get right up to that line. Um, but this next brush that I'm going to use with like a different purple tone, it just applies it much better. But it's a good metallic anyway, using them all dry. So yeah, this is like a just a fluffier flat brush and it just applies the colour on beautifully. I didn't bother wiping off underneath my primer either, so that's why we've got a bit more texture going on as well. But I'm just being lazy today. Forgive me. Well, this is a really pretty colour. I feel like on its own it would really kind of stand out more, but I'm just obviously going through my gradient really light to a lot darker. I'm going to use that um, first matte as well and just pop that much closer to the lash line. And that just helps it fade in the outer corner and makes it really deep at my lash line. Um, so kind of instead of putting liner on. Oh, back in with that one. Forgot I did this. Just to blend it in. Look at it. It, just, it does all blend very well. I do think I just maybe picked some odd colours to blend together. I'm using my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner and Grind just to go around the edges, just because I thought it would help. You don't have to do this. I'm not doing a lot with it, just around the very edge. So forgive me, okay? Just skip this step, but how beautiful is it? And then, okay, so this is the ABH Glitter Glue. I don't know if it's a glue or if it's the glitter, but something was not working here. This is the hardest pressed glitter I've ever come across. It's so difficult to pick up on a brush. Um, I do go on my finger in a sec with a bit more glue in it and then a bit more glitter, but it's so firmly pressed in the pan. Look at all that fallout. Oh my gosh. I'm going to clean it up. We'll throw on our lower lash line as well. So exactly the same shades just along the bottom. I didn't want to do anything too dramatic. I'm going to put more glitter on at the front as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. We need to experiment more with it because, my lord, it was so hard to pick up on the brush. That's the shade I used under my brow. Ho, 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 mama. Look at that. I mean, I do love it, but 
it's hard to apply. I'm using this purple LA Girl liner, but just ignore it because I actually do change it later on to a lip liner <laughs> for a color that I preferred. Um, so that's the look. Let's put our lashes on. These are my tatty lashes in the style Badass. I don't even feel cool enough to say that. I do really like the look. I just, I don't know. We need to play with that glitter again. And I think I just want to do like a dark, grungy, grungy look. And that is the eyes. What are your thoughts? So I have done all of my makeup. I'll list like my foundation and lip and stuff. Highlight down in the description if you really want to know. I'm, I'm looking at this look and I really like it. I love the actual like tones of all the purples that I've used and all the like the shimmers and things. I think it's like really, really beautiful. But in my head, I'm like, could I have done this with my 39S? Probably. But there's so many more shades in this palette that I haven't played with. Today I was just feeling very purple and there's like greens, there's really deep like grungy tones that I want to play with um, that you would have seen in the swatches and I do want to play with all of them as well so again as always I'm going to play with this palette again like you know I will but I kind of have a bit of a backlog of palettes right now yeah I will do another look with this palette I am happy I'm really glad I bought it I'm glad I got a bit of a discount which I'm pretty sure everyone can get on Morphe so yeah you have to let me know what you think about this palette and whether like your mind changed on it or whether you initially liked it and are getting it or or not like for me it's just more interesting than usual for a morphe palette you know so that's gonna be all for me today i'm gonna piss off because it's like 6 p.m and i've not eaten and i'm really hungry and i still have to do my yoga so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out leave me a comment down below subscribe to my channel and also go and subscribe to my beautiful friend Teresa's channel i will link her up here and down there because we're gonna be doing a weekly videos together which is very very exciting oh and Elena sorry my other friend Elena who is in LA I will link them both um we're all three of us are gonna be doing like a joint video each week and I'm very excited so subscribe to them because the videos are gonna go up on their channels not mine so yeah I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna piss off have a lovely day and I'll catch you on the flip side bye